Let's talk about Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. It's time to have a harsh truth discussion about the Baltimore Ravens. When I look at this Ravens team, they are built to be one of the best teams in the regular season every single season. When they're fully healthy, they are a hard team to beat every single week for the simple fact that Lamar Jackson is an amazing quarterback. They have a great run game, and we saw this season that their defense was amazing. Their defense was one of the best defenses in the NFL this season. Their defense is going to continue to be good, even with them losing some of the defensive players. Now, will it be top of the league good? I think they can still be top five to top ten. They did miss out on bringing in some veterans to this team or bringing back some veterans, but they're going to still be in good shape because of the overall nucleus of the defense is still the same. It's the offense that I'm worried about. In the NFL playoffs over the last couple of years, Lamar Jackson has not looked the same in the playoffs like how he did in the regular season. And this is not me saying that Lamar Jackson will never win the Super Bowl or that Lamar Jackson is just a terrible quarterback. Don't get it confused. I was the same guy that was hitting the table, say, give this man his MVP, not because of his numbers, because of what he was doing on the field. Some people say Christian McCaffrey should have won the MVP. You can say that. But Lamar Jackson was the sole reason to why that offense was even as good as it was this season for the Baltimore Ravens. So he is the best player on this team. The thing is with Lamar Jackson, when you put him inside that box and you force him to be a pocket passer in the NFL playoffs, he doesn't look the same. We saw the interceptions that he had against the Kansas City Chiefs in that playoff game. Granted, Todd Munkin did not try to run the football as much in that game as they did in the regular season. But two things can be true. Todd Munkin called a horrible game, and Lamar Jackson played horrible as well. A lot of people do not want to talk about that. When Lamar Jackson threw that football in double coverage and it went for an interception, that isn't on coaching, that's on Lamar Jackson. He doesn't look the same in the playoffs like how he looks in the regular season. A lot of that can be because they don't run the football as much and he's not able to run the football like how he does in the regular season, but he has to figure that out. And another part of this is because the wide receivers that they have or the lack thereof. Zay Flowers had a great game against the Kansas City Chiefs. He fumbled in the red zone. He doesn't fumble that football. Maybe we're talking about a different situation right now with the Boston Ravens. Maybe they go off to the Super Bowl and they defeat the San Francisco 49ers because they went out there and they defeated that team on Christmas Day like it was no tomorrow. They defeated them handily. The thing is with the Baltimore Ravens, you have to figure this out in the postseason. Bringing in a guy like Derrick Henry sounds great and all, but if you're not going to give Derrick Henry the football 25 to 30 times in the playoffs, it doesn't matter. And getting Derrick Henry is a major plus for this team. Now, Derrick Henry is going to come in, and if he can stay healthy, he is going to be a running back that you can count on every single week. Over the last couple of years, the Baltimore Ravens running backs have just dealt with injuries over and over again. And it started with J.K. Dobbins. J.K. Dobbins, phenomenal running back, great skill set. He's now with the Los Angeles Chargers. The thing is with J.K. Dobbins, he couldn't stay healthy. This man would get injured early in the season, torn Achilles, torn ACL. So you have to bring in other running backs as well, and those running backs would get hurt. Keaton Mitchell, phenomenal running back this season, tore his ACL against the Los Angeles Chargers. And that kid has special speed coming out the backfield. Derrick Henry has not suffered any major injuries in his career. If he can stay healthy for this entire season, you better give him the football. He is on the back end of his career, but he is still a top running back in the NFL. You give Derrick Henry the football no matter what, and you draft another wide receiver to pair up with Zay Flowers. Because it was ridiculous that no one else was getting open in that receiving room besides Zay Flowers against the Kansas City Chiefs. Granted, that Kansas City Chiefs defense was one of the best defenses in the NFL this season. But there is no reason for why guys like Isaiah Likely could not step up in that game. And I said it then, I'm going to repeat it right now. Mark Andrews should have not played in that game. Mark Andrews suffered a serious ankle injury against the Cincinnati Bengals. I understand when you're a player, you want to go out there and play. You're doing more harm to the team than good. And you're doing more harm to your body as well. He was not 100%. And he shouldn't have been out there on the field. But when Mark Andrews is fully healthy, he's one of the best receiving tight ends in the game as well. You have to put as many pieces around Lamar Jackson as possible to try to get them over the hump. Because this isn't going to last for too much longer. Lamar Jackson had a fully healthy season this season, which is rare. And it's not me trying to hate on Lamar Jackson. The last two years before this season, he was not able to finish out those years because of injuries. Part of that is because he's a running quarterback. Lamar Jackson is going to go out there and take major hits here and there. Even when he slides and even when he runs out of bounds, he's still going to take some contact. And Lamar Jackson will have some freak injuries as well to where he's behind the line of scrimmage. He's trying to throw the football. He gets hit. Hit after he throws the football, comes down with the injury. 
So if you could take care of Lamar Jackson and Derrick Henry, running the football should be the main priority with this team, not just in the regular season, but in the postseason as well, and getting another wide receiver. But it's more to it than just that. They are missing some offensive linemen on this team. They traded Morgan Moses to the New York Jets. You have to bring in another tackle with this team. I love Tyler Linderbaum. He's one of the best centers in the NFL. He's a mauler. I think in the next couple of years, you can really say that he's in a class of his own and just being the best center in the NFL. Ronnie Stanley is a very good tackle with this team. You have Ben Cleveland at the right guard position. It just comes down to that right tackle position. Do they have enough faith in Daniel moving forward with this team? But in the first or second round, you have to target a wide receiver to go out there and pair up with Zay Flowers and to also pair up with Mark Andrews as well. And Isaiah Likely, because Isaiah Likely came in and he looked like a very good tight end when Mark Andrews came down. He played phenomenal. We can go back to that Chargers game. Lamar Jackson throws up to double coverage. He comes down with the ball. Very good tight end. He was not able to make any plays against the Kansas City Chiefs, but he's a very good tight end that you can depend on. So you can run a two tight end set with this team as well. And a lot of people may say, hey, you're disrespecting Rashad Bateman. No, I'm not. Rashad Bateman, his first two years in the NFL, the kid looked very good. But injuries have derailed him in those first two years. He's not the same wide receiver anymore. He's not as explosive as he was his rookie season. He's still a very good wide receiver to have around on this team. But only having 367 receiving yards and one receiving touchdown, that's not good enough. And over the last couple of years, we've heard people say, that Greg Roman was holding this team back at the offensive coordinator spot. That the routes were being too bland. They did not pass the football enough. He wasn't letting Lamar Jackson cook. Todd Munkin tried to do that. And we saw what happened. It's okay to admit that Lamar Jackson is a very good quarterback. But he's better when the run game is there for him. Lean on that run game with him and his legs and Derrick Henry. Then work it to play action. But I will say this about that playoff game. I'm not just going to come on here and just say Todd Munkin caused him a Super Bowl trip. It wasn't all on Todd Munkin, even though he called a horrible game. Lamar Jackson was throwing some horrible passes and was misreading the defense in that game as well. As far as the defense for the Baltimore Ravens, their defense is still going to be good. You heard me in the beginning of the video. They're missing out on a few names. Jadavion Clowney is no longer with this team. He had a great season with this team this season. He was phenomenal. He's now with the Carolina Panthers. And you no longer have Patrick Queen. I will say this about Patrick Queen. I never really understood the hype around Patrick Queen over the last couple of years when Roquan Smith came. Very good linebacker. It's not me saying that he's horrible. I believe that Trent Simpson will come in and he's going to be just as good as Patrick Queen because Roquan Smith can make anyone look good alongside him. Did you not see what the linebackers were able to do in Chicago when he's playing alongside them? And it's not me trying to disrespect Patrick Queen. Like I said, I think that he'll be solid with the Steelers. But I believe that Trent Simpson will come in. He's a linebacker from Clemson. He's going to play very well alongside Patrick, play very well alongside Roquan Smith. I think Roquan Smith is going to be the leading factor for that defense moving forward. Is the reason why they traded for him in the first place. As far as the defensive line, you're able to keep Justin Matabuke as well. He's a very good defensive lineman in the NFL, and he had a career year this year with this team. So they really did go out there, and they won free agency. You got to keep your guy that had 13 sacks in the season, two forced fumbles. You got to keep your secondary the way that it is with guys like Marlon Humphrey, Marcus Williams, and Kyle Hamilton. Kyle Hamilton, in my opinion, is one of the best safeties in the NFL. Can play inside the box, outside the box. He is just a very good playmaking guy to have in the secondary and that kid is special so the Boston Ravens always draft very well I'm not worried about them drafting I'm worried about them getting over the hump and right now it seems like they cannot get over the hump with no matter who is calling plays right now it comes down to the health of Lamar Jackson can he play better in the NFL playoffs and can the Baltimore Ravens run the football enough in the playoffs as well we've seen it every single season in the regular season as long as Lamar Jackson has been the quarterback they're going to have a tough rush rushing offense that is just how things are with this team you are in a tough division with the Cincinnati Bengals with the Steelers and the Cleveland Browns. So you have to make it out your division first. You have to make it out your division healthy. And they can compete with every single last one of those teams in this division. And it's a flip side to that as well. Every single team in this division can compete with the Baltimore Ravens. So you really never know. I believe their best shot to winning a Super Bowl was this season. Things do change from year to year. But this was a dream situation for the Ravens. You had your league MVP yet again Lamar Jackson. This is his second time winning it. The Kansas City Chiefs had to travel to Baltimore. You had the best defense in the NFL this season. You had home field advantage, and they were not able to come away with that ring. And it really sucks because you cannot ask for a better situation than that. 
If the Baltimore Ravens cannot get over the hump for this upcoming season, they're going to have to make some massive changes yet again to the roster, or a lot of people are going to start looking at Lamar Jackson sideways even more than they do right now. But let me know in the comment section below, how do you guys feel about the Baltimore Ravens, and am I being too hard on Lamar Jackson? If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. Most importantly, when each and every last, when guys stay safe, stay positive. Thanks for watching the video, guys. God bless. Peace.